Welcome to Scrabble TV. Today we have Wi-Fi in the stratosphere, giant squids, and the Romans teach us how to build a better cement. You're watching Nerd News. Google has just announced Project Loon, a project designed to bring the internet to the entire world. Currently, two-thirds of the world's population does not yet have internet access. Project Loon is a network of balloons traveling on the edge of space, designed to connect people in rural and remote areas, help fill coverage gaps, and bring people back online after disasters. Project Loon balloons float in the stratosphere, twice as high as airplanes in the weather. With the help of these winds, these balloons are carried around the Earth. They can be steered by rising or descending to the altitude with winds moving in the desired direction. People connect to the balloon network using a special internet antenna attached to their building. The signal bounces from balloon to balloon, then to the global internet, then back to Earth again. Project Loon starts in June 2013 with an experimental pilot in New Zealand. A small group of Project Loon pioneers will test the technology in Christchurch and Canterbury. To stay up to date on Project Loon, follow them on Google+. A group of scientists have given us a glimpse into mythology. First ever video of giant squid in its natural habitat. Giant squid are deep ocean creatures that can weigh thousands of pounds and measure more than 40 feet from the posterior fin to the tips of their two long tentacles. Squid are found in all of the world's oceans, yet a live giant squid wasn't photographed until 2002. Now for the weird part. In the past, researchers have proposed there are up to eight separate species, but the remarkable lack of variation supports the theory that there is just one species of giant squid. Current study shows that the giant squid migrates long distances to keep the breeding population well mixed. A possible cause for such a population explosion could be the rise of the whaling industry, which removed large numbers of sperm whales, the only predators that giant squids face. Late last year, scientists were able to capture the video of giant squid using e-jelly, an electronic jellyfish. For years, squid searchers have gone into the ocean, lights are blazing, looking for hard-to-find fish. They now realize this is the wrong approach to lure light-sensitive cephalopods. The systems use mimic bioluminescent distress signals made by jellyfish when attacked which usually attract large predators like the giant squid. Only about 5% of our oceans have been explored. Edith Witter, the creator of E-Jelly, says there are surely amazing discoveries we made down there. Not only of fantastic creatures, but also bioactive compounds that would benefit the entire world. Roman concrete, also called opius cementicium, was a material used in construction during the late Roman Republic throughout the whole history of the Roman Empire. Roman concrete was based in a hydraulic setting cement with many material qualities similar to modern Portland cement. The thing about modern concrete is that it begins to deteriorate after 50 years or so of facing the elements where our structures engineered in ancient Rome have proved far from enduring. Now scientists have finally pinpointed just why that is, and their findings could pave the way for stronger concrete to be formulated for today's applications, a blend that would also be less harmful to the environment. Ancient Romans mixed lime and volcanic ash to form mortar, and this mortar and volcanic tuff were packed into wooden forms. These forms were then set into seawater, which instantly triggered a hot chemical reaction. The lime was hydrated, incorporating water molecules into its structure, and reacted with the ash to cement the whole mixture together. Even more impressive, the Romans released far less carbon into the air while creating this long-lasting concrete. Today, production of Portland cement accounts for 7% of damaging carbon dioxide emissions annually. While Roman concrete is durable, we're unlikely to see a modern pantheon because it's not ideal for construction where faster hardening is needed. But the researchers are now finding ways to apply their discoveries about Roman concrete to the development of more earth-friendly and durable modern concrete. I'm Fallon Jaza for Nerd News. Please tune in next week.